Welcome back to Definitely Not Definitive. I'm Ken. And I'm Bethany. And we're a determined couple in love that loves reacting to some destiny. Yeah. So uh, we're going on a destiny journey. Uh, we've been on a destiny journey for a little while now, but now we're going to do it weekly. Um, yeah. So uh, if you want early ad free access to our journey, you can go ahead and check out Patreon down below in the description of this video. You can get a month ahead. Yeah. Um, for ones like these that are shorter, uh, this is Destiny 2 Season of Dawn all cutscenes. Uh, they will be like weekly. And then if they're like a longer one, like a couple hours, uh, we'll be weekly on Patreon and then we'll upload the full video uh, to YouTube once it's uh, all put together. So that's how it works. That's how it works. And because it's Destiny. We have a drink. We're past dry January. Yeah. We have a drink. This is the Awoken Amethyst. Cheers. Cheers. Mm, they're so full. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. We kind of had the go big or go home after dry January approach. So, yeah. so we went big. We did. They ha either have mugs. We have mugs for our, our merch and we have the pine glasses for our merch. They don't have like, like, like smaller glasses. Um, for the site that we uh, designed them on. So, gotta go big or go home, I guess. So what can I say? There's gonna be a lot of big drinks in the future. Yeah. You've been busy, Guardian. Cyrus? When you That's cool. The undying mind, you change the course of history. Oh. Now no big deal. Is broken on Mercury. Fractured by the Legion. They intend to write a new history, a new ending to the Red War. Uh oh. If you're willing to help, you'll need to walk the corridors of time. And you'll need my sundial to do it. I built it so that an ally of mine could cheat death. I failed to help him, and his death remains my greatest regret. They call me the greatest titan who ever lived. Hmm. Oh, I thought you not punch him. <laughs> <laughs> Master the sundial. Like in midair. Yeah. Did a couple times in this. Before you, the Red Legion had never been defeated in battle. You crushed them. Damn right. Drove them to a desperation they've never known. They have scoured the system, searching for salvation. Instead, they found my failed experiment. Sundial. The Sundial prototype. It is a means to walk the corridors of time. Now time is broken on Mercury. Fractured by the Legion into countless realities. They intend to write a new history. A new ending to the Red War. Show them history is written by the victors. And that's us, bitch. The shotgun you crafted in the Infinite Forge is reacting to the sundial. An onboard transponder is broadcasting coordinates, a path through the sundial, crossing two time periods. Transponder, it makes me think of the friends. He's a, he's a transponder! <laughs> paradox must have included this broadcast. If you can open up the initial chamber, I can align us to the first time period the broadcast is referencing. This is new. Topographical scan confirms this is Mercury circa the Dark Age. Incoming signal on an old emergency band. Hold on. I 
repeat, this is Saint 14. The Fallen have overrun Zephyr Station. If you can hear this, turn back. Saint, hold your position. You have an armed guardian incoming. Who is this? Just stay alive, Titan. All is lost, Guardians. Get out of here! I'll hold them off for as long as I can! The Fallen cannot be stopped! They do not negotiate! <laughs> they do not negotiate. I watched them burn and pillage whole villages in the Cosmic Realm. I watched Bragg's each children. Oh my God. Yeah. It's cool. I'm getting past him by just jumping. Forward. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's trying not to kill them so that like he can see all the dialogue. I imagine. Mm -hmm. Got that when they ate Some kids. Are. are you fit to fight, Titan? I was supposed to protect these people. I should be dead. You're stronger than you think. Don't their sacrifice be in vain. Their deaths be in vain. Don't worry, dude. There'll be ample opportunity to die in this world. <laughs> That's what you're going for. It can happen. Breaker. This is the last safe city of humanity. Hundreds of years from now. During the day, there are children laughing in the streets. Hmm. When night falls, the people sleep in their homes. Not against the walls, weapons in hand, like the early days. So you are fighting for some boys, my people. These are your people, Saint. Their descendants. If you quit the fight, maybe you'll live forever. Your ghost will protect you no matter what. But this last city might never happen. Everything I've ever built has died. I've buried most of the people I've met. I can't do this. Not anymore. But you see we the future. Our own choices. Good luck, Titan. Well, it looks like everything turns out all right, so I don't need to work. Yeah, I'm not reading all that. This thing about like prophecies and how people are like, oh, it's fine. It's just, it's going to happen. Yeah. Like, no, it happens because people make it happen. Mm -hmm. I've killed enough of you to end the war. And you took my light. I guess that makes us even. What are you waiting for? Last words. Finish it, you cowards. I say fourteen. I've killed enough of you to win the war. And you, and you took my life. I guess it makes us even. What are you waiting? For? What are you waiting for? Passwords? Finish it, you cowards! Is it passwords? Or passports? Now, I thought I heard passports. Let's see. I don't know if that was right. Graphical readouts match near present Mercury. This is before I found you, and after Saint Fourteen launched his last mission to find Osiris. 
guardian, you're back. Just in time. I was about to send my ghost away. I'm afraid that Martyrmine has taken my light. But now that you're here, please vent. Oh! Six rookie. Take your light again. Impossible. It cost them everything to build the martyr mine. When you crushed it, they were doomed. You want us to leave you? You'll be stuck here for years. You've both done plenty. Just open the infinite forest gate. I'll meet you the long way around at the end. Okay. A few years on the other side. Years of fighting vats. If we did this right, Saint should be waiting for us in the forest. Let's hope he's still alive. Skills. Yeah. Had skills. True. My name is Saint Fortune. Ooh, dragging him through. They call me the greatest titan who ever lived. But I would be dead if not for you. Frickin' head blitz it. Over and over again. Yes, beat it with it. Oh. Oh, even better. Oh, what a move. Since the day I met you, I swore I would make it my duty to follow your example. I'm still trying. Aww. Dude, say that's pretty impressive, man. Like, just like, <laughs> yeah. He was committed to the headbutt death. I didn't think it was possible. I had given up. I spent lifetimes looking for Saint. A dozen of my echoes lost their minds before I retired them. Part of me wishes you were there to see it, to feel what I felt when I surrendered. But then where would we be? What you've done today, this is amazing. Saint will need your help. The world has changed since he last walked free. In his youth, he talked often about the guardian who inspired him. I should have guessed it would be you. That's cool. The next time bullies come crashing on our gates, I will be here to answer. I almost 
almost did not see you, Hunter. You are so small. This is a useful quality. You just call us sharp and useful. Or tiny but useful. The place where humanity nearly died. Guardian. There are no crucible matches scheduled for the gap today. Osiris, how did you know we were here? I saw the Guardian arrive. You're spying on her? I use my eyes. I watch all Guardians of Stature. The battle against the Fallen that took place here. It made Titans famous. Not in a good way. The Patrick is worried to me if I'm not watching like you, you're not watching it. Mm-hmm. Hunters sat on their hands. Get off this line, Osiris. I'm showing the Guardian something very important. <laughs> Make me. Ha! <laughs> You would not survive that. <laughs> you made me laugh. You can stay. <laughs> the fabled Yalahorns of legend were constructed from the armor of guardians who died here. Final deaths, all of them. What happened here wasn't your fault. Or mine. We would have lost if not for Shaxx's last stand. With Nkechi and Abdi and Truth, Li Fang, Anna, they all believed in him. He's more stubborn than you. I have never known him to give up, ever. Uh, he's taught me a lot. Guardian, whether you wanted it or not, you've become the best of us. Or close to it. Huh. Without you, there would be no Saint-14. The Battle of Twilight Gap might have been lost. Saint, your ego knows no bounds. And you have a fat head, Warlock. <laughs> What's all this? Guardian, there are no sanctioned matches at Twilight Gap right Shut? now. That's exactly what I was saying. Osiris! Warlord Shax, as I live and breathe. Saint 14? I thought you were dead. Brother, I have always hated you. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be at this for a while, Guardian. Feel free to move about the universe. I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to this. No! This is the best! Shax, the Crucible. What have you done with it? It's not the crucible by which you and I were forged. Took years, but Twilight Gap changed everything. After that day out there, the crucible went from a place where we settled our differences to a place where we bettered ourselves. I heard you give out some amazing weapons to your fighters. Those weapons are earned with blood, sweat, and tears. Are you sure your fighters are bettering themselves or chasing hardware? Listen, even guardians need to get paid once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> when you put it that way, you sound like that sad, lonely rat man who lives downstairs. Oh. The Drifter. Keep your enemies close, right? Hmm. Watch him for us. I was shocked to see Eris mourn again. She is not as she was. She's better. She represents the best of us. Yeah. Ghostless. And stronger than you and me both. Hmm. Perhaps we could get her a bigger gun. She would not have to carry that rock all the time. Speaking of guns, uh, tell me more about these weapons you've crafted. I am not allowed to earn them. I have heard you made one for young Redrix. Uh, Redrix is Claymore? Broadsword. Whatever. There was a hand cannon as well. You made one for Yosef. Uh, Luna's howl. Yes, Luna was his dog. She passed on the moon, fighting Hive. Those bastards. Mm -hmm. Yep. I'm glad you killed their king. Are these questions leading anywhere, Saint? Yes. The long rifle you designed, the revoker, what's the story behind it? What does it do? It shoots bullets, Saint. <laughs> it's a gun. Uh, all the good work you've done, the 
city is amazing. The tower is amazing. Anything I've done pales in comparison to what our guardian has accomplished. Oh, I stop. always told you she would return to save us. Still wearing that spin foil hat, I see. The guardian saved you with Vex Tech. She is not a divine savior. <laughs> Wanna bet? Oh, you never change. And you still owe me Glimmer. In my defense, you were dead. <laughs> and I don't make much as Crucible Handler. You know, when I walk the streets of the city, the children demand I carry them. I do so, but I ask them to sing me a song. A song of their people. No! I refuse. Then you can pay me. A titan is only as good as his word. But I don't know any songs. No. Make something up. Oh, let me see. There is hummed a few bars on the moon. How did it go? I'm on the moon. It's made of cheese. <laughs> That is awful. <laughs> it's not my song. It's Eris's. Uh -huh. Voral integration successful, Guardian. I've oriented you precisely within the intersection of our timeline and the one the Legion attempts to set in motion. It now falls to you to collapse this budding reality. I'm detecting intrusions into the Vex network. These... These are my bypass signatures. They're using my sundial to access the forest. Break their integration attempts. Without its leader, does the Red Legion remain united under a shared purpose? Or has the deposed Emperor slipped his followers into their ranks? To seal shut the passage into the forest would breed far more harm than good. Cabal of their high aspirations. The infinite forest is preserved. For now. I wish to decide the fate of those endless passages myself. We have not yet reached the end of its usefulness. Steal yourself. Remember what is at stake. Everything, Guardian. Everything. That scion would have seen all of humanity enslaved under its banner. The traveler as we know it would be nothing but a myth. Thank you, Guardian. Thank you, thank you for coming. We've gathered, we've gathered here today to celebrate the life of my mentor, my inspiration. That's our grave? The woman, the woman who avenged Gaius. I mean, it's not bad as far as graves go. She had a hundred times, I do not recall. And she died, she died doing what she does best, defending the last city of humanity. Ages ago, she saved my life. And then inspire me to save myself. I am glad, I am glad that she did. Because the travel will help us. She is gone. It's creepy though standing in your own grave. There is no one to save us now. The day we met, On the day we met, I decided I would follow her example.
Let's do the first one. Let's avenge our killer, but if we kill him, then we're really our killer. The altar of the garden. Lesson. In your absence, I walked the streets of the city, spoke to the people. I sat beneath the traveler and listened. Scars are still healing. I witnessed many new faces. <laughs> they look to me and see a myth. I admit it does make me feel old and humbled. As I walked, do you know what I saw? Smiles. I heard music. It is good to be reminded why we fight. I will walk the streets again tomorrow. Maybe I will sing. Maybe I will sing? Mm-hmm. Go, buddy. He's all about song. Do not Hopefully it's a better song. That's how he takes payment. Take the time to breathe. Tampering has left this timeline fraught with inconsistencies. Is that snowman he's summoned? If it collapsed, they would have caused permanent damage. Well done. I have heard that Cabal legions cannot return to the fold until the conquest has been ratified. I don't know if this remains true for the Red Legion, but if it does, slay the Scion and make this system their prison. This path has been walked before. I remember sitting in a sea of stars soaked in meditation. I reached out and chose a tiny gleam of light that ruptured and bled. It burned away each atom of my being as the light ran, scorching a trail into my skin. It was but one fate set in motion, one that I was certain could not be brought to finality. Each time I traced that line in my mind, attempted to follow its probability to its logical end, it faded. Each time, until now. There are omens I have ignored in my haste to pursue my own agendas. This experience has brought clarity, Guardian. You have my thanks. Sagira asked me to thank you for cleaning up another of my messes. Obviously, I don't see it that way. All that happened with the sundial was necessary to achieve this outcome, including the return of Saint-14. What you've achieved here on Mercury, I'm only beginning to believe. The future I saw in the infinite forest when all this began, the subatomic annihilation of this reality, and perhaps you've prevented it. I pray that you have. Because no hero or weapon could defeat that emptiness. Go. Run your strike missions, your crucible training. Live your life while you can. Thanks, Osiris. The pep talk. Uplifting, as mm -hmm. usual. It's been a while, old man. It's an entrance. Mm -hmm. The tower looks at you and sees a god. But I see a thug. A murderer. Betrayer. You know why I left the infinite forest. What I saw. A line has been drawn in this system. Light on one side, dark on the other. Where do you stand?
All right. Uh, Saint fourteen is pretty cool. Yeah. Um. And and he's such a badass and yeah has like that strength and that um rather imposing presence but then to see him like fanboy over the guardian is yeah. so it's such a wonderful contradiction and they really did a great job with this character having both sides of him like that shown because it, it really humanizes him kind of said it better myself um his design is pretty interesting like so he's got like the roman headdress like a spartan like a spartan thing, thing. um and then the 14 obviously the roman numeral but it sounded like he's Russian. Yeah. Um, so I don't know. I thought he had more like of an Italian flair uh, for, for his for his voice. Um, I loved the scene or like just the dialogue between uh, Osiris and then uh, Saint Fourteen and then um, oh, I forgot his name. I want to call him Sean. Uh, uh, do you remember the name? No, I'm terrible. With okay, the but you know you know what I'm talking about. Um, when the three when you're just waiting around and I guess you can choose like. Either to skip that scene or just like listen to them, and we listen to them. Like it makes him sing him sing a song for a payment from a past debt. Like even though he thought he was dead, uh, yeah, it was just like fun seeing the banter and like it's another way to humanize uh, Saint Fourteen and Osiris and just, uh, all of them. Like um, joking around and telling each other like you know that they I don't know giving each other shit like like old like old friends would and making fun of each other. Um, I just. I really liked it. I love the ways that Destiny has implemented um, key scenes, key pieces of dialogue to really draw us into these characters. I mean, mm -hmm. because it's it's sci-fi and it's futuristic and it could be so yeah. removed from us and so difficult to potentially connect to. I mean, we we don't have the swarm of... of um, evil machines and bugs and whatnot that they're dealing with. Like our, our life is dealing with the ant invasion that happens every July in our home. I mean, it's, it's pretty small by comparison. <laughs> um, and so finding those key pieces of dialogue um, and those key moments that humanize them, that's, that's the gold that destiny does mm -hmm. so well. And they give us epic battle scenes and great fights and wonderful action. But then they give us those moments of, of like the ones that you just described where characters can be vulnerable or can be finding humor in a really dark and, and otherwise kind of frightening world. Um, mm -hmm. and, and that's what makes us love them. Let us know what you thought about this down below in the comments. And if you want early ad-free access to our Destiny journey, we'll be a month ahead on Patreon. The link is down below in the description of this video. And we have all of our Destiny reactions here on YouTube. Check it out in the playlist. Yeah. Thanks so much for checking out our reaction for Destiny 2, uh, Season of the Dawn, but just keep in mind. That our reaction is definitely not definitive.